What's up guys? Today we're going to be working on a Whirlpool refrigerator. You may remember this refrigerator from the video I did the updated tap valve install on. Um, I wanted to give you a quick update on this refrigerator. Everything's running good after the, the gassing. Um, the temperature on it a few minutes ago I checked it and it was it was right at 8 degrees. Um, it's running now but it I sit here with it in my shop all day and it's cutting on and off and everything's running like clockwork so it's uh it's good to go. So that's just a quick update on that. Um, what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to show you how to quickly change the ice maker in this thing. If you uh, if you notice you got some problems with your ice maker and you, you got a new one from uh, Lowe's or somewhere uh, and you want to just know how to stick it on. A lot of times if you like me, I like to see somebody do it before I jump right into doing it myself. Um, in this case, there really isn't much to it. Uh, just a few screws. All you're really going to need for the whole project is a quarter inch nut driver. So uh, anyway, we're just gonna zoom in here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get to it. So this is the style we're gonna be dealing with. Um, I'm gonna pull the front cover off this thing. That way you can see kind of what the whirlpool style looks like inside. Um, most of the time, if it looks like this, well, actually all the time, if it looks like this, it's gonna be made by whirlpool, and uh, you should be able to change it the same way that we're describing here. So, like I said, all you're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver. So we're going to come here to the bottom, and you'll see one screw in the bottom. Some models don't have this screw. Some models don't even have the bracket for this screw. Some models uh, require a Phillips screwdriver here. But uh, most of the time, it's just a quarter inch, so you just take that screw out, lay it to the side. And if you look on top, you'll see two screws at the top. Just back those out about halfway. You don't have to take them all the way out, you just want to loosen them up. Like that. And you just kind of pick up the ice maker and lift it out of those screws. Alright, now here in the back you'll see a wire harness. It's got a little clip on it, so you're going to want to pull that clip back and just pull that harness apart. Like that. And that's it. So I just want to throw a little something in here real quick. When you take this ice maker out, um, regardless of whether the, the ice maker itself is bad or not, if you ever take this thing out and you see this little gritty looking stuff down in the bottom of the ice maker mold, um, it looks kind of like sand or dirt or whatever, um, a lot of people think that's just from deposits in the ice. Um, what that is, is, is this ice maker is coated with like, uh, a lot of people call it Teflon coating. But uh, I'm not sure if that's what it is or not. But anyway, it allows that uh, that ice when this thing heats up along with this heater, it allows that uh, ice to kind of slide out, kind of like a non-stick frying pan, I guess. But um, anyway, if you ever see that stuff down in the bottom, just look at it real close, and you can kind of see. I can get it focused. You can kind of see where that stuff is is flaking, like here, right there. That uh, that coating is flaking off. Now, anytime you see that, you need to go ahead and change this ice maker, regardless whether it's bad or not. Because what happens is, if when that thing fills up with water and it freezes that ice in there, um, this stuff is gonna freeze inside that ice. When it turns it out, it's gonna go right into your ice bucket, and you put it in your glass. It's gonna be frozen in that ice. When the ice melts in your cup, you got it. You're gonna be drinking it. So, anytime you see that stuff, just go ahead and. You probably need to change this ice maker because that's coming out in your in your water that you're drinking. You know, if you put ice in it, uh, your tea glass, whatever you drink, and put ice in that, that stuff's gonna come out in it. Now it may or may not hurt you, but I, I wouldn't drink it. So, just a little uh, quick tip on that. You got the ice maker out, so open up your box, get your new one out, and uh, we're just gonna stick this thing right back in. So, put the new one back in. Get your wire harness. Plug it back on until it clicks. And you're going to stick this little cup in the back. And you'll see this little chute sticking through the back of the refrigerator. When you slide this thing on, just make sure this little chute is in that cup. If it's not, it'll put water inside the freezer. So just slide that up on there and make sure it's sitting in that cup. And then set your ice maker down on the two screws in the side. Just like that. So now you can tighten those up on top. Now 
Then you'll take one for the bottom, stick it back in. And you can take your bucket and slide it back underneath. Now it's going to take, when you change this ice maker, that ice maker has, has been sitting at room temperature. So you're going to have to wait a while, you know, for it to cool down the temperature because this thing's got a little thermostat in it. It has to be um, 10 degrees or so before it'll actually go in the cycle and start making ice. So you may have to wait a few hours before you'll hear that water valve start coming on and uh, the thing will start filling up, you know, with water and start making ice. So just, just give a little while. If it don't start working immediately, you, don't, you know, you might not have anything wrong yet. So uh, usually what I tell my customers is, is give, it, give it 24 hours. If they haven't seen anything by then, call me back. Um, but anyway, usually they don't have no problem. It just takes a few hours. Um, a lot of times if they're sitting there watching, they start panicking because it's not doing anything. But uh, really that's all there is to it. And you can pop that little cover right back on the front. And you should be good to go. Thank you for watching.